Hey guys, we're back with another Winter Sunday. This time is Fountain of Life, which I feel it's somewhere in Finland because I was gonna uh, say it's in Yadi's backyard. Yeah, because the guy hasn't aged at all. He's not aged at all. Fuck, the guy's like a fine wine. There was a point in time where he looked like Luka Modric, and now Luka Modric looks ten times older than him. That is correct. That is correct. Now that you talk about that, like, do you think Yari's a vampire? Oh, maybe. Because he kind of has the vampire elf look to him. So maybe he's an elf. Elves don't age either. Elves, they age, but they don't age physically. Well, they age physically, but like only when they're like 10, 100,000 years old. That is right? true. Maybe he's still in his first 1,000. Yeah. Wow. wow. Maybe that's, that's why, why it, time for him works differently. <laughs> that's why, like... This that is, explains a that lot. That explains so much, actually. That explains a lot. That's why wow. it's taken like 10 years for time 2 to come out. Yeah. And the forest uh, the seasons, the the album yeah. is about his experiences. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like wow. he's an elf. We've un- the, he he chopped off like the pointy part and he smoothed it over so he could fit in with with humans. I actually know a human who's done the opposite. Yeah, who had a surgery to point up like create pointy elf ears. So it's anyhow, a poser. huh? It's a poser. I don't know. Maybe that's the story she's selling it, and she's actually a real elf. Have you ever thought about that? Then she would have had them to get on the... She would have had them to begin with. Yeah, that's right. Oh, but she's like saying... She's saying she had surgery, but she... Oh, no, it's like actually, she's smart. Yeah. She, Yachty should have done that. That's what he should have done. But I think he, he was, you know... Maybe he didn't have that kind of a vision. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he didn't have that kind of a vision. Anyways, uh, Fountain of Life. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Let's check this out.
I, um, can I go first? Yeah. But before we talk about the song, <coughs> let me just say this about the video. This video is almost like a representation of how this whole time package, um, you know, crowdfunding went. In the beginning, you see Yari walking with the 10,500 backers behind him, following him into battle. Then in part two, you have him battling the haters. Yeah. He's battling the haters with his backers behind them, all of them fighting against the internet trolls and haters. Then in part three is him resting after battling really hard and proving that his time package, it was worth the wait. And then finally in part three is people asking him, Yari, what really? percentage? No, 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 no. Uh, how big is your time package? This big, this big. Yeah, let's be honest with ourselves. We've just been like 
So the, the video is a visual progression of how yeah, things but, have but gone. Take in that Winter Sun fans have been waiting to see Yachty's package for the past 10 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, on August, I think, 31st, everybody will get to, to see, Yachty. To see and, and, and hold. And hold his package. You, yeah. you, you're going to be able to hold his package uh, at that time. You're going to get an email. I believe I, I got his latest update because I, I'm also going to be able to hold this package. Damn. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's not every day that you I have... to hold the that, package. Exactly. I mean, it's not every day you get to do that. So uh, that's why I I, I, I I prepaid. I got into this thing. Fuck. A package that size is <laughs> is, is worth prepaying for it. The special so, site. Huh? The, the special site. That you the took. Indie uh, Gogo yeah. or whatever, whatever it was that I went to. A anyhow, so I got his latest video. I saw his latest uh, update. 10,500, I think it's 10,000, 10,500 backers. <clears throat> that's, that's... A lot of people are going to be holding Yachty's package. Fuck, that's incredible. If you ask me, <clears throat> that's incredible. <clears throat> so, um, and then he, he short, he short sells himself saying that, you know, um, you know, we're a small band, but you know, we have this great fan base. Dude, you, you can, Winterson <laughs> is not necessarily really a small band. I, I, I understand what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Like, he's not Slipknot. Yeah. Like, he's not Metallica. So I, I get it. But the fan base of of Winter Sun is pretty epic. It's pretty epic if you if you ask me. So it's pretty epic in terms of the, how galvanized they get in in support of of Yari and his endeavors and obviously his package. So I believe it's August thirty first. I know it's in August. Maybe it's not thirty first. Maybe it's August tenth. I don't know. Go go. You guys know better than me. Just go check out the details. And um, actually, uh, when you're talking, I'll bring up because I want to get a little bit of background <laughs> story on why on the video and when it was uh, on the song and when it was made. Oh, well, I want to get a little bit. Yeah, of that. yeah, yeah. So uh, let me just finish saying this. Uh, you know, it's 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 a really cool thing that he did this video to really represent the different stages of uh, of this time. Being package. serious though, it is the the video is really cool. Like the the song is like four different. Like the song is like four different songs. Four different songs, and it brings you on a nice adventure. I like, agree. I, I enjoy it a lot because, you know, it makes the nine minutes of the song, like, work. Like for people who don't listen to like, sorry, it's hard for me to talk. I'm listening to a fucking. I know. And why doesn't Kia it pause? Commercial. Why doesn't it pause? Can Can you explain that to me? Why do I press pause, and it won't? It wouldn't pause. It's like YouTube forcing us to watch commercials. I know. Anyways, go ahead. Um, but for people who are like you know the the long songs and stuff like. The one thing I loved about I've always loved about Winter Sun is one one Winter Sun was one of the first bands we we did on the channel that had lengthy songs. Yeah, like w when we started the channel, I think we're, obviously we were checking out bands that do like four minutes, four minutes, minute, five minutes, six minutes at the most. At the most, I think. But the, then the like, first time we went over the ten minute mark was was with, a Winter with, Sun song. Winter Sun song. But yeah, the one thing I, I've loved about this band is because yes, that is a long time to listen to a song. But it's a journey, and it's a journey that keeps you. The 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 able to keep you enthralled throughout it. Like you're, there's not like a minute or two where you're kind of like, ah, I'm clocking out. Like no, the Winterson's able to keep you entertained for that time. Uh, funny, but uh, this song, I think it did it in in the best way by being four different parts all in one. With the narrator and everything. With the narrator and everything, that's cool as fuck. That's really, really cool. So now let me give you, let me read what it says on the video. So this came out on April 19th, uh, Winter Winter Sun, Fountain of Life, Legendary Early Demos. Fountain of Life is a four-part epic song, which you mentioned, with some progressive elements. I think there's a, quite a bit of progressive elements. Yeah. I wrote and recorded it around 2000. Damn. You were not even born. I'm four years after that. Yeah. Uh, with a 16-track hard disk recorder and a Roland VS-1680. Fuck, he puts like the... He puts all the fucking he details. He puts the specs. Yeah, he puts of, the specs. I recorded on, on a sunny day, it was it was uh, sunny it was in the sunny morning, it was cloudy in the afternoon. I had afternoon. my Blackberry and I was like... Hmm, yes, I, I, I was having an Earl Grey tea yeah, and yeah. I was thinking about this song while I sat in my backyard looking... Looking at the wilderness. Looking at the wilderness, watching a woodpecker screw a female woodpecker and I was wondering, man, that's a lot of woodpecking. Yeah. And then I decided to get my bow and arrow, as all all else have, and I decided to go hunting in the back. Doesn't he have a crossbow too? He could, have, the, a crossbow. He could have a crossbow too. When in the back, those are more reliable. I yeah. Think. And as he was hunting, he had a melody in his head, and he's like, "You know what? I need to record this." Yeah, and the other elves call me William Tell because of how good I am with my crossbow. If you don't know who William Tell is, just Google it. Anyways, uh, I swear he's gonna have one that he's like, 
back in 2008, I Can was... Can I finish reading? Oh, oh, hold on. I was going to say, like, he's going to have one where he's like, back in 2008, I was, I was just... I was just sitting there minding my own business, and then I'm like, hmm. I was sipping on some Chianti. Yeah, you know, wearing my my eye nose and uh, Reynos or whatever the fuck you know, whatever they're called, <laughs> and uh, and I, w- I was just wondering, and then I got this melody in my brain. I'm like, I gotta record it, but none of my stuff's on me, so I had to record on the BlackBerry. And then I got home, and I, you know, he actually comes across as the BlackBerry kind of guy. He does, he does. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. He he he, remind, he's like the guy who has the screen, and then you flip it, and it has the keyboard. Yeah, one of those black. So uh, while I would require a big orchestration, a massive production to fully bring it to life, maybe someday. <laughs> uh, so he's still not really happy with the way it it sounds. He wants like even he's, bigger. Yeah, he's never happy. Yeah, that is true. That is true. His uh, he's a, <laughs> a glass is always half empty kind of guy, especially when it comes to the music. He there's always like he's he can always, always like, level up. He's always like the glass is half empty and the water's evaporating, so he's double pissed. Yeah, uh, he's always the kind of guy that can double up. Yeah. Uh, he's he's your he, he's your original Pokemon. He's always looking at leveling up to the next level of uh, of Pokemonus, whatever. Anyhow, uh, I hope you can uh, feel uh, Yarimon. I <laughs> Yarimon, I like that. I hope you can feel the potential and magic of this demo. We, I think we felt it. Yeah, man, it, it feels like something that could definitely be built. Yeah, uh, left the song. Uh, let the song inspire to never give up, no matter what you're going through in life. Never surrender to victory, Yari. Fountain of Life is part of the legendary early demos, five album, five hours, fifty six track collection. Holy shit! Five uh, hours, but let's just say that's like twenty songs. But uh, l- let me say this: last week we checked out that um, the vaults. Vampire Vaults. By the way, yeah. one thing I didn't realize when we checked that out, that wasn't the full song. That was like three minutes of a much longer track. Oh, really? Yeah, so that was kind of like just like the intro. And and some people were, were uh, last week or two weeks ago, wh- wh- whenever, whenever it is that we did that. These winter sun things are starting to become a little blurry. Um, it was on a Sunday. It was on a Sunday. So anyway, some people were mad at us because, remember I told you in the previous video... That we, we upset people because we were laughing at the song, and then we upset people the because we, we upset the song. People, uh, like we, like it, it was like we we just upset everybody. But then we just ended up. So, but one thing we didn't realize when we were checking out that song is that it is just a part of a much larger song. Having said that, that doesn't change the fact that the fucking volume is all over the place. So it just means that we got to listen to a lot less of the volume being all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's all we, we did. got to listen. That's all we did. Yeah, we got you to. Know. I think in the end, it was a blessing in disguise. Exactly. Exactly. So, anyways, this one is the full thing. Thing, is the full boat well, this uh, one sounds a lot more complete uh, and you know what the funny thing about this one this one unlike all the other ones that we've checked out so far because i think this is our fourth winter sunday since we got back yeah um this is the one that sounds the least like in seferum it, it sounds them. like it sounds only a little bit like winter sun it doesn't, no, yeah, yeah. It's it no, doesn't it, even sound it, it, it more doesn't like release, winter sun no. it, it sounds nothing like in seferum it just sounds like like its own thing it sounds like its own thing and i think that's why i and like I think it so much and, and i and i think if you told that to yari i think he would be like that's that's what he was that's going what for. i want that's, that's what, what i want because i think be honest, winter so, sun, it, this does seem like something that needs to be performed but but to be honest with you i think his vision for winter sun is to always be different from record to record but not still to, having a, a, a line of dna a, a line of dna but be diverse enough that like not you can't say I, that I don't this think record he wants sounds you, like this record yeah i don't think he wants you to expect that every album is going to sound like the seasons or every album is going to sound like time or every album is going to sound like the debut no every album is going to have its own unique dna to it obviously it's going to be all under the umbrella of winterson but i think that's the vision that he has to have a little bit more of a diverse mm. palette in terms of what he creates i just want to finish off on my end by saying that this time package is fucking massive right but think about this what is he going to do in the next time he needs to do one of these crowdfundings? Because he's... Is he going to say, Oh! He's giving us everything. In the basement, I just discover my Spectrum uh, hard drive with 46 kilobytes of, of material that kilobytes. I... Kilobytes? Yeah, back then it was kilobytes. Uh, the Spectrums then it was 128K. Like, so, okay. 128K of data that I found that... Uh, is that what he's... Like, does he still have some unfound... Unfound tapes and no, found hard drives. You know what I think? I feel like uh, because I think he should have held some back. No, you know what though? It's been ten years since the last. Uh, well, has it been ten years since the last album? No, it hasn't been ten years. No, since. the seasons was not ten but, years ago. But, but it's, it's been ten years since uh, time. Okay, right. I'll give you that time. But what I'm saying is, the, the if you count the 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 seasons <clears throat> release, that that was what like. Six years ago? Seven, seven years ago? Seven years ago? Still, it's a long fucking time. Okay, but, but, but he's blowing his load all but, in but one this fucking is, package. But this is the time two package. 
Time 2 was over 10 years ago. I think Time 2 was... Well, Time 1 was 2012, I think. So it's over 10 years ago. Uh, so it makes sense to give... It does, it, but it, it makes also... sense to give... And this shows that maybe in the future he's not going to fucking make us wait 10 years for a new Winter Sun record. Okay, fair enough. Well, we know he's 80% done. Well, he's 80% done the next record already. The next five records. I think wasn't oh, yeah. that one is at 70, one is at 80. But the part that, that, that everybody's missing is that the percentage that's missing is actually probably the thing that's going to take him the longest to do. That's what he told me in the interview that yeah. we did. That the part that he's He's finished, already done all the albums. It's just The artwork to... is finished. Yeah, yeah. The the track listing is done. The titles of the songs are done. But he hasn't laid the vocals or, or recorded. <laughs> or mixing. Or and mixing. producing. And, so. and that, like, I bet you he, he re-records every song at least 20 times before getting the right one. Yeah, so but he, he also he has better gear now, so it makes... That's why now he's True, he's uh, he's improving in terms of his time management skills. But I just feel like this package is so incredibly massive that like are much... you giving too much? No, 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 never give too much. I do. Come on, some of this shit is not even like good. I, I just hope. Let's be honest with ourselves. Some of this, sh- some of the stuff. No, no, the... no, no. Some of this, some of the stuff is for shits is, and giggles. It's for shits. Like Yadi was like sitting there like. <laughs> that's shit okay I'll add it fuck it like, it's just well, what am I gonna do with it what am I gonna do with it yeah I'm not gonna add it to something else here you go like some of these are, yeah. sh- some of these are like a fart that he farted in the mic and then like he's like oh but I recorded it didn't I okay part of the time two package like it's whatever the fuck he had sitting on like an old computer from the early I know 2000s. but my question that I'm posing right now is that are, are we in 2026 gonna discover that there's a lost hard drive we're not that maybe you could talk like you could borrow the computer and never return it, and then like there's some songs hidden in that computer that we're gonna discover down the line. Uh, you don't think so? We think this is it. Uh, I think he's. Uh, I think he's run dry. Not, there's not gonna be like the the Dead Sea Scrolls where we're gonna discover that there's a lost hard drive. Even if there drive? is, even if there is, I wouldn't be mad. There's a lost hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. He's like, you know, uh, I never told anyone this, but when I used to record with Insofarum, uh, I hid hard drive underneath the floorboards uh, for safekeeping. And then and I only remember now. And I know, and and I couldn't ju- I couldn't go there because you the know, guys were there. The guys were there, but now they've moved on to a new space. So I went there in the middle of the night, and I got my hard drive back. And there's about 13 terabytes worth of. 13 terabytes? Wow. That Mac store was there's, working... There's five more hours worth of, of, of Yachty. Yeah, Western Digital. Uh, 400 terabytes of Western Digital hard drives, which back in the day would have been a lot That's of a hard, lot of hard drives. Because they didn't, they didn't even have one tera. I think uh, at the time that this stuff was being recorded, 2000, I think the largest hard drive you could buy at the time, like 500 gigs. If, if... But but I I don't think I'm that far off. I don't off. even think 500 gigs. I think I had a 250 gig. Dude, 500 gigs is still good now. I know, but back then I think I think I had an external Mac store hard drive blue. I remember, <clears throat> and I and I think it was like 250 gigs. I think it was 250 gigs. So anyhow, he has um, like a Ziploc bag. Oh, I thought you were gonna say he has a zip drive. You know those tapes, the zip tapes oh, that they used fuck. to have. Those I used to have those. Fuck. <laughs> Those were not a lot either. Those were, we're talking about like a couple of megs at most. He found like, most. A, he finds like a floppy disk and it's like old... Like, old demos? Old demos, like videos. In 8-bit? In 8-bit. 8-bit yeah. old demos in 8-bit. Anyhow, this Before is it. Before he releases something, he's like, uh, I found a floppy disk of when I was a kid. I, I programmed this. No, cool vo- voice memos on his Nokia. Oh my God. Voice yeah. memos on his... Like he wakes up in the middle of the night, he thought about a song, he recorded voice a voice memo on the, on the Nokia, boom, down. There, there you go for the next package. So anyhow, uh, we're just having a good time. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, come on, guys. Come on, like get a life. But this song so, was good as fuck. And to be honest with you, I would so love far from to hear so far from live. the demos. The only one that I really didn't, not that I didn't like, but I thought it was like really subpar. But obviously, it's a really early one. Yeah. Was that that intro that yeah. we heard? This one though, out of Vampire all of them, this Wolf. one feels more like a song that could be played live. And he even says that it's this feels like most part. of the song that I doesn't fit to anything that it doesn't he's fit done to anything, so far. But even he says that's missing some orchestra and stuff. But fuck, if he can do it with a real orchestra, with a real orchestra, this this is a journey in its own. This would be this would be, in my opinion, this song has all the 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 attributes to be extended into something even bigger. Like go from nine minutes to ninety minutes and make it like, like an album. No, Holy like fuck. make the journey of this song into a whole like record, like a concept. 
and then you know make different songs like each chapter any normal turns band, into a this, different song. Any normal band, this one song is four different songs. <laughs> exactly. That's an EP. Yeah. That's an EP right there. But Yadi, right. Yadi thinks different. He's like, why have four different songs when I can tell the story at once? Because who's going to listen to the other song? Ma- it make it completely massive. Like, I'd rather someone listen, I'd rather everyone listen to one song than listen to four different songs. All right. On that note, uh, we'll be back next Sunday with another one. I think there's one more. There's one more. For now. For now. For now. Between now and then, maybe he'll uh, he'll uh, release something else. So we'll see. All right, we're dependent on him. So if you guys want us to check out more, ask him. On that note, we'll see you all at the next one. See ya.